so like the video uh got cut off but um as i was saying call, calling us uh black that's not gonna stop nothing all right okay and then and then that, that the devil in the video which let me show you the video so you can know what i'm talking about uh i was 26 minutes in but if you watch it from the beginning he goes into um um, as I mentioned, a, a wacky, tacky Christian, and I'm going to keep calling them that because that's what they are, all right? They, they really think that they're going to stop the, the program of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh the Shai. Creator, the creators of the universe, you think you're going to stop their program? Good luck with that, all right? And there's no such thing as luck, okay? <laughs> all right, but he was trying to, like, scoff at, at the fact that... Um, uh, Kendrick Lamar, in one of his other songs, he he, he said something uh, along the lines of we're under the curses of uh, Deuteronomy. He was trying to scoff at that while in, in the same breath calling us black. That The fact that you're calling us black, that's a part of the curses, stupid. So you're really just proving that we're Israelites. And the fact that you're trying to come against us, you're proving that we're the Israelites because you, you don't want us you don't want us to be the Israelites. But <laughs> what, what can you do about it, all right? Just like I said with the sun, if you... If you have a problem with the sun rising every day, you can't do nothing about it. The sun's going to keep on rising. All right? We're, we're the Israelites. You can't do nothing about it. You saw it's too late. All right? Your judgment is coming, devil. But um, verse 29, Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shad, rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shad, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. So Yahweh raised up Yahweh Shai, all right? Yahweh, he's the one who, who, who gave Yahweh Shai that, that position of being the top spirit, the first spirit created among all spirits. The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he's the one who, who raised up and, and exalted Yahweh Shai. And it's going to go into it. It says, Him hath Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So Yahweh, he raised up Yahweh Shah to be a prince and a savior. All right. His name means he deliverer, he savior. Yahweh Shah means he deliverer. His purpose is literally in his name. His purpose is to save the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. All right. He's only coming to save the elect of the nation of Israel. He's going as it says in uh, Matthew 24, he's coming to gather his elect from the four, the four corners of the earth. But through the elect being saved, the whole nation of Israel will be saved, okay? And it says, um, it says, for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. So he's not coming to save you wacky tacky Edomites, you wacky tacky Christians, all right? He's coming to destroy you, you Edomites. He's coming to destroy your society, your wicked society. He's coming to destroy those, those uh, imposters in the land of Israel calling themselves Jews, all right? Those 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 uh, small hats. He's coming to destroy them because they they're not set up to, to be in that land. That's our land, all right. That they were set up in in, uh, in nineteen uh, forty eight, if I'm not mistaken, or not nineteen forty nine. One of those years, all right. By the the, Bel the Belfort Declaration, all right. That's how they got in that land. They didn't get in that land according to prophecy. They were they're not the, the chosen, all right. They got that land but by by murder. All right, by destruction, by war. That's how they got that land. So they're not the true people. We are. And the Lord's going to place us back in our land. Okay? It says, it says, and forgiveness of sins. And also, who, who who's the only one that can sin? The Israelites. Okay? Because the law was only given to the Israelites. All right? Sin is transgression of the law. That's what sin is. To sin is to break one of the heavenly father's commandments and who was the commandments given to the israelites so he's going to forgive our sins he's not going to forgive you you damn devil the law wasn't given to you edomites all right so technically you edomites you don't you you can't even commit sin because the law was never given to you in the first place so he's coming to forgive our sins okay low willing we're of the elect he's coming to save us verse uh, i'm gonna skip down a little bit um I'm going to skip down. This whole chapter is real good, but uh, for sake of time, I'm going to skip down. Verse 38, Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, 
it will come to naught. All right. So refrain, refrain from, from from these men. Refrain from us. All right, the Israelites. All right. But we know you devils, you're not going to do because you're proud. So you're going to try to uh, fight till the end. All right. But it's really not a fight. All right. You're fighting a losing battle. <laughs> all right. It says verse thirty nine. But if Yahweh, so like it. But if it be of the Most High Yahweh, you cannot overthrow it. Lest happily you be found even to fight against Yahweh. So you're not going to overthrow this this program that we're a part of because Yahweh Bash, this is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai's program. Okay, you're not going to overthrow it, as it says, uh, unless unless you're trying to fight against the, the Heavenly Father Himself, and you're going to lose. All right, because He created everything. You can't fight. The, as this old saying goes, your hands are too short to box against the Heavenly Father. Okay? You cannot fight against the Heavenly Father. But this devil is so proud that he's gonna, actually going to try to fight against Yahweh Shai and the angels. All right? When Yahweh Shai comes back in what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, which are really the chariots of Israel, the vehicles of the angels. This, 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 uh, this, this stupid uh, devil, he's going to try to fight against him. Okay? And that, that that goes into um Revelation uh twelve, the war in heaven. Okay, uh second Ezra, second Ezra thirteen. Alright, just like they show you in the movie Independence Day, but you're gonna lose, alright? <laughs> you're gonna lose. Alright, the Israelites, Yahweh Shimei Al Shah, he gave us the victory. We're gonna win. Alright, that's that's a prophecy. We're gonna win and you devils are gonna lose. And you de you devils are mad. Alright, you're mad that you're mad that you're gonna lose. Alright, but but too bad, alright? Damn, crybaby. Esau's a crybaby. All right, but uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's the point. Uh, Lowell and his lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to end off by giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechah Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect.